Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard. You should hit subscribe and the notification bell before you go any further and realise how fucking garbage this content is. However, if this is not your first time on the channel, you may want to seek some professional help. In either case, thank you very much for coming along. I do appreciate you being here. Let me first apologise if you hear any weird grunting noises or anything of the like. My pug is sat literally right here, right below where my microphone is, is because he's decided that today is the day to just bother me whilst I'm trying to record. And whilst those puggy noises are very, very cute, they're not so cute when they're in the background of all your videos. So let me apologise for that in advance. And as a final note, before we continue, if you are looking to pick up any singles, whether that's Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon, you should check out the channel sponsors, Jam Jam Cards UK. There is a link in the description to their eBay store, and you'll net yourself a cheeky discount courtesy of yours truly if you head on over using my link. But anyway, enough waffling on from me, let's get talking about what we're here for. So at the time of recording the last day or so, we've seen some information about new Gizmex that are going to drop in the new OCG set, Dawn of Majesty or something like that, and maybe I've got that one wrong. And so far, mostly people have reacted by saying, well, this looks like great despot support, which may be the case, but, you know, Gizmex are always cool. So in my mind, from the release of Gizmex originally, of course, we saw one or two dri drabbed here and there, and I always thought that they'd be those kind of side deck cards that you saw. So it'd be like Kaijus, they have a place in some formats and not in others, and now Konami's gone out of the way and made a full-on archetype out of this deck. So we're going to run through the new cards that we've seen revealed. I will be looking at my monitor, which is down here. So if you lose eye contact with me, that is exactly why. It's also worth noting there's a really cool archetype that looks like a bunch of sushi. If you want to get more information on both of these archetypes and you do want to do some reading, there is a link that will be in the description to the YJO organization uh, thing. So again, it's worth noting that because these have come from the OCG, we are working on rough translations. So many of this may not match what we actually get in the end. Effects may be slightly off. Names almost certainly will be off. But that's besides the point. You're here for the rough information of what we have so far. So the first one is, uh, well, kind of, it looks like a big bunny. It's got 50 attack and 50 defense. Fucking massive. So this one's called Gizmek Inaba. It's a wind machine. And its effects are, you can only use this card's name second effect once per turn. So the first effect is that when it's normal summon, you can special summon a machine monster from your hand whose attack is equal to its defense in defense position, which is every Gizmek. You can also banish a card from the graveyard, then target a machine monster you control whose attack equals its defense. For the rest of this turn, you cannot declare attacks except with that monster. Also, its attack and defense become the total original attack of all machine monsters you currently control whose attack equals their own defense. Bit of a mouthful, but you get the point. It makes other Gizmeks absolutely beefy as fuck. Next up, we have Gizmek Chicken Thing, Nag Naganaki. This one's a light machine with 950 and 950, and then each of the effects are hard ones per turn. So you can tribute a machine monster whose attack equals its own defense, then special summon a machine monster from your deck whose attack equals its own defense, but with a lower level than the tributed monster. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then add one of your face down banished monsters whose attack equals its own defense to your hand. We also have what is likely to be everyone's favorite Gizmek so far. It looks like a fucking frog, and there is something about Yu Gi Oh players that absolutely love froggy cards. So this one is Gizmek Taneguku. This one is an Earth Machine. I must admit, it does look fly as fuck. So his attack and defense are 1450, and you can only use this card's names first and second effects once per turn each. I hate reading that sentence. If it's normal or special summon, you can place one machine monster from your deck whose attack equals its own defense on the top of your deck. And you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one machine monster in your graveyard whose attack equals its own defense and special summon it in defense position. This is fucking cool. As if we didn't love the frog enough with his cool artwork, he's got a great effect too. And then the last of the monsters from our new reveals, this one looks like a piggy boy. Probably not the kind of bacon you'd want to eat though, considering he's a fucking machine. So this one is Gizmek Ibuki. And this is a water machine with 1850 attack and 1850 defense. You can only use this card's names first and second effects once per turn each, the hard ones per turns. If you control a machine monster whose attack equals its own defense, you can special summon it from your hand. That's a really important effect in the modern game. Being able to special summon itself as a free extender is really nice. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target a machine monster you control whose attack equals its own defense. Send one machine from your deck whose attack equals its own defense, but with a lower level than that target, to the graveyard. And if you do, the target gains attack and defense equal to the same monster's level times 100. 
So Piggy Boy rounds off the monsters. Let's have a look at what else we've got here. So we've got one last card here. We've got the Field Spell. Of course, every good archetype needs its own broken Field Spell, and this is pretty good. So the translate name is Gizmek Legend Kamitsuka Washimi no Kiki. Each effect's a hard once per turn. During your main phase, you can excavate the top three cards of your deck. And if you do add an excavated machine monster whose attack equals its own defense to your hand, also banish the rest face down. Each type of machine monster or monsters whose attack equals its own defense is normal summoned or special summoned, place one counter on this card. Monsters on the field whose attack do not equal their own defense cannot activate their effects while this card has 10 or more counters. This is an inbuilt mystic mine. It digs you deeper into your deck and it banishes cards face down from the top of your deck. And of course, with all these effects, you can see why people are getting excited about potential death spot support by having Gizmex around. But it is really cool to see this evolving into its own archetype rather than just being a bit part role. There may be more usage for these other Gizmex that have come so far as well, which will be really nice to see. Of course, we have to wait till Dama to see these come out, which is going to be later this year. I think it's April release for the OCG, so we're probably looking a few months on from that. So we'll be a little bit behind the curve, but these will be ready to go for the summer. But that is all for today's video. Thank you very much for coming along. I do appreciate you being here. If you haven't already, you should most definitely be hitting subscribe. And if you have already, consider hitting the notification bell if you haven't done so already. It's worth noting this isn't the only kind of content we do on the channel. We do deck profiles, how to play tutorials, combo tutorials, and all of that good stuff you could possibly want. And if you're interested, there is a giveaway going around on the channel at the moment, at the time of recording at least. If you want to check that out, go ahead and check out the Freezing Chains giveaway on the channel going through the videos. There'll probably be a link on the screen if I remember to put it there. But anyway, that's enough waffling on from me. Thank you very much for coming along. I do appreciate you being here, and I'll see you in the next one. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.